Hello, uh, I'm Michael Rosen and I want to talk about the NHS. I couldn't be more grateful to an organisation than I am to the NHS. It saved my life last year, that's 2020, possibly two, three times because I was at death's door before I went to hospital and then there once in hospital I was, it was touch and go of several occasions. I was in an induced coma for 40 days um, and they brought me back from the brink of death. Uh, but it wasn't just that. It wasn't just that they saved my life. But if you're in a coma for that long, your body is deconditioned, as they call it. And you have to be looked after. You have to be rehabilitated. So I couldn't stand up. I couldn't walk. And so with great care and attention, um, and I use the word love. I mean, it was loving care. Um, I was able to learn how to walk and to live again properly, if you like. But all the time while I was in a coma, the nurses were writing a diary for me. They're kind of letters to me telling me how they're looking after me. And I have this diary. Uh, I have it here, actually. And this diary, which is a, a testimony to uh, how it is that they looked after me. Handwritten notes every day. You know, what kind of care do you get? I, I called it in my time par almost parental care. Now, we've got a key finding from research, which is that the US corporations are taking more control of the NHS and so this is this is not good they're, they're embedded and they're, their motive is not care but profit and we can't introduce the profit motive into care care must be for its own sake because we want to save each other's lives that's what's so wonderful about the NHS it's an act of love it's what society gives to itself to look after everybody in that society so experts are warning us that the health and care bill will hand over control uh, to the US, US corporations, hand over the control of the NHS, and this can't happen. So if you want to fight back against this, then you have to go to yournhsneedsyou.com to find out what you can do. Thanks very much.